will see all of the parts included in your RSP 110 gaming chair. Start by opening up your 5 star base. Adding each wheel to the ends of your 5 star base will allow for easy mobility. Once you've added all 5 wheels, flip the base over, take your gas lift and put it into the center of the base. The gas lift cover will then slide above the gas lift. This piece is purely for aesthetics and just for a nice clean visual. Then take your seat, flip it over and find your mechanism, align your holes with the opening of the mechanism being towards the back of the chair or across from your footrest. Add your washers to all the screws for the mechanism. First hand tighten all of the screws to make sure that all holes are aligned and then tighten all the way down to make sure you have a good tight fit. Take your seat with the mechanism now attached and flip it over to add it to your gas lift. Pressure is the only thing that holds these together. Your three screws to attach your back to your seat require lock washers and washers for extra stability. Slide your back inside the mechanism and align your holes. Just hand tighten so you have movement and flexibility to add your arms. Attach your Velcro for a nice clean look. Start on one side of your arms and align your holes to attach your arms to the back and seat of the chair. Tighten until snug. Repeat the steps on the other arms and end with a nice finishing cap so you have a good clean look. Then go back and tighten the screws to make sure your back is in there tight. Your adjustable headrest pillow can be attached through the holes in the back or even above the headrest. Your footrest mechanism can be pulled out from behind and flipped over to put into good use.
Netgear Wall Plug AC Wi-Fi Range Extenders are the easiest and fastest way to extend the range of your existing Wi-Fi. To begin, first unbox your extender. Then plug the extender into an electrical outlet. For a seamless installation, we recommend that you complete the basic setup in the same room as your current router. To determine if your router supports WPS setup, look for a WPS button on the front or back of the router. If your router does not support WPS, watch the range extender setup with Netgear Installation Assistant video. To set up with WPS, first press the WPS button on the extender. Then, press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router. The WPS LED will light up solid green when you have established a good connection between your Wi-Fi router and your extender. If your Wi-Fi router supports the 5 GHz band and you want to extend this band, repeat the WPS process. Now, unplug the extender and move it to a new location that is about halfway between your router and the area with a poor Wi-Fi signal. The location that you choose must be within range of your existing Wi-Fi router network. Plug the extender into an electrical outlet and wait for the power LED to light green. Once powered on, use the router link LED to help you choose a location where the extender to router connection is optimal. If the router link LED lights amber or green, you found a good location for the extender. If the LED lights red, plug the extender into an outlet closer to the router and try again. Moving the extender closer to the router will improve the connection but will reduce your extender's coverage. Once you've found a good location for your extender, connect your client device using the new network name. The extender uses your existing Wi-Fi name and adds underscore 2G EXT or underscore 5G EXT at the end. When connecting, make sure to use the same Wi-Fi password as your router. If you're using a mobile device, connect in the same room as the extender and then move to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. Once your devices are connected and placed in the dead zone, return to the extender and check the client link LED. If the client link LED is solid amber or green, your Wi-Fi network has been properly extended to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal and your network setup is complete. If you're unable to connect to your new Wi-Fi network from the dead zone or the client link LED is red, the range extender is not reaching the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. If possible, move your client device closer to the extender until the client link LED turns solid green or amber. Depending on the distance from your router to the dead zone, your extender may not be able to provide all the range that you require. In this situation, we recommend considering other solutions, such as Powerline. Your AC Wi-Fi range extender is now set up and ready to go.